Ever wondered how your web browser knows how to interact securely with a website? Well, that's where security headers come into play. These HTTP response headers act as the diligent gatekeepers of your web browser, providing it with instructions on how to behave when interacting with a website. They're an integral part of web security, helping to mitigate a variety of attacks and vulnerabilities by setting specific directives. These directives enhance the security stance of web applications, making your browsing experience safer. The server sends these headers along with the web page, instructing the browser on security-related actions. From forcing secure connections to controlling permissions for certain features, these headers wear many hats in the realm of web security. They're the unsung heroes working tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure a secure digital interaction. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of these security headers and see what each one does. One. Starting off with the HTTP Strict Transport Security, or HSTS. This security header plays a significant role in maintaining secure connections between your browser and the website you're interacting with. How does it do this? Well, HSTS forces the browser to only communicate with the website over HTTPS. This means that even if an attacker tries to downgrade the connection to an insecure HTTP, HSTS won't allow it. This is a powerful way to prevent downgrade attacks and ensure a secure connection. Let's look at an example. The header might look something like this. Strict transport security, max age equal sign 31536000. Include subdomains preload. This tells the browser to only interact with the website and its subdomains over HTTPS for the next one year. And that's not all. The preload directive requests the browser to preload HSTS settings for future visits. That's how HSTS ensures your browser only interacts with a website over a secure connection. Next on our list are X-Content Type Options and X-Frame Options. Now, the X-Content Type Options header is a real game-changer when it comes to preventing mime sniffing. Let me break it down for you. In essence, it blocks a browser from trying to guess and override the response mime type. This is crucial in reducing the risk of certain types of attacks, like mime-based exploits. So when you see X content type options, no sniff, it's telling the browser, hey, no guessing games, please. Then we have X frame options, our trusty guard against click jacking attacks. This header stops a web page from being loaded within a frame or an iframe. So when it says X frame options deny or X frame options same origin, it's essentially saying, nope, you can't frame this page. So these headers provide a protective layer against mime based exploits and click jacking attacks. Moving on to Content Security Policy and Referrer Policy. Let's start with Content Security Policy, or CSP. This security header plays a crucial role in preventing cross-site scripting attacks, also known as XSS attacks. It does so by specifying approved sources for content, like scripts, style sheets, and images. For instance, a content security policy could look like this. This means that only resources from the same origin can be loaded, and inline scripts are allowed. Now let's discuss the referrer policy. This header controls what information is included in the referrer header when a user navigates away from a page. For example, a referrer policy might be set as, which means that the full URL will be sent as a referrer when performing same origin requests, but only the origin will be sent for cross-origin requests. These headers are crucial in preventing cross-site scripting attacks and controlling the referrer data. Last but not least, we have feature policy and cross-origin resource sharing. The feature policy is a security header that controls permissions for features like geolocation, camera access, and microphone access. It limits which origins can use certain browser features. For example, the header allows only the same origin to access geolocation while blocking all origins from accessing the microphone. On the other hand, Cross-origin resource sharing, commonly known as CORs, is a mechanism that controls which origins are allowed to access resources from a web server. This is critical in managing how a web server shares its resources with other origins. An example of a CORs header is, which allows only the specified trusted origin to access the server's resources. These headers help in managing permissions for web features and controlling access to server resources. We've covered a lot today, so let's do a quick recap. We delved into the world of security headers, these unseen heroes of web security that keep our web applications safe and secure. 
We started with HTTP Strict Transport Security, or HSTS, which ensures that our browsers only interact with the website over a secure HTTPS connection. This header is a reliable guard against downgrade attacks. Next, we talked about X content type options, the no-nonsense header that stops browsers from mime sniffing a response away from the declared content type. This helps us avoid certain types of attacks like mime-based exploits. We also discussed X-frame options, the protective shield that prevents our web pages from being loaded within a frame or iframe, e thereby safeguarding against clickjacking attacks. The Content Security Policy, or CSP, came up next. This header specifies approved sources for various types of content, reducing the risk of cross-site scripting, or XSS, attacks by blocking unauthorized resources. Our discussion moved on to the referrer policy, which controls what information is included in the referrer header when a user clicks on a link leading to another page. We touched on the feature policy, a header that controls permissions for various features like geolocation, camera access and microphone access, thereby limiting which origins can use certain browser features. Finally, we explored the cross-origin resource sharing, or CORS, a header that controls which origins are allowed to access resources from a web server. Each of these headers plays a significant role in web security, offering a layer of protection against various types of attacks and vulnerabilities. They are like the invisible armor of our web applications, working silently in the background to ensure a safe and secure browsing experience. Remember, properly implementing security headers can significantly enhance your website's security posture. The internet can be a wild place, but with the right security headers in place, you're well equipped to face its challenges. So stay safe out there.